Hello everyone and today is the first video of a four part series on how to make a online multiplayer game in Game Maker Studio 2. This is what we'll be making and if you press H you can host and then if we launch another one we can go ahead and join and it says connected players 1 and if we go ahead and add another it says connected players 2 and then if we leave it respectively decreases the connected players so let's go ahead and get started I have everything pre-coded so I'll just be explaining what I've written so first up is the server and in the create event we just create a port variable and a max players variable then we create the server using network create server and we use the TCP socket then we create a list to keep track of the total players connected to the server. And down here we do simple error checking by saying that if the server was not created for some reason, restart the game. Next in the draw event, I simply draw the size of the total players list to show how many players are connected to the server. In the game end event, I simply destroy our server using network destroy. And our async event is where most of the action takes place. And first we get the data type using the async load function. And we grab the type out of that map. Then we switch between that data type. And we switch the connection type, disconnection type, or the data type. And if they connect, we simply grab their socket using the same async load function and adding that to the total players list. Next, for net network disconnection, you simply grab that same socket of the player disconnecting and find that within the total players list and delete it. Then, network type data, we simply pass in a script for handling server data. And as of now, this script is empty. So next is the client. In the create event, we simply have port and IP and these you can also change to get real and get string or uh, get integer yep get integer or get string then I set the network configuration to timeout after three seconds of uh, no connection to the server so it doesn't hang or there's no freezing of the window when it can't connect to a server then I create a socket and call it client and I create that using network create socket and I use the same socket type as the server which is TCP then I connect to that server uh, by passing in our port IP and client variables then I do more simple error checking by saying that if the client uh, returns negative one which means it can't connect then it'll show an error and restart the game then in our game end we simply destroy our client and that's pretty much it all I have is a menu that allows you to decide whether or not you want to host or join and it takes you to a client room or a server room respectively so that's it for this first tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for part two.